too. We're not here for it today. Don't try me asking me why Gigi don't have no cape on. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody going to say, she doesn't have on a cape. And I'm going to say, did you get paid today to be worried about somebody's cape? Don't try me today, y'all. Okay, so. <laughs> right. It's We're about to. Day. Right. Gigi is. Um, hey, guys. Let me put this down so y'all can see because we just, this is real ghetto. I told y'all I moved and we're not set up yet <laughs> for nada. Hi, fam. We ain't set up for no, nothing. No, at all. Oh, she <laughs> almost dropped the camera. <laughs> ah! Okay, y'all. I swear I tried to get it together before it came on. What up, people? This is impromptu because y'all was like, let's see Gigi's hair. Thank y'all for asking. Because the salon is closed. Because the salon, so if I'm not a model, I'm going to look <laughs> raggedy. <laughs> so, Gigi is, hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, everybody? Y'all, I've been having technical difficulty. Right. Like a mother, like, I swear I'll be saying I'm going to stop cursing. And then everything happens. And then, I just think she's, she's going to cuss right now. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> That's not going to make me cuss. <laughs> not at all. So Gigi's about to go somewhere. So I'm about to do this thing I've been wanting to do on her. To see if her hair will hold up. Because her hair is funny acting. Oh my gosh. I don't know where nothing is. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to blow dry the top of her hair. This is like a little ghetto dryer because I gifted my Ferrari to my assistant. Can you hold this? So, and I haven't bought another blow dryer because I don't do hair like that. <laughs> so, right now I'm going to spray some setting lotion in Gigi's hair. Setting lotion, setting lotion, setting lotion. Don't, I, I love it. That's why. I love it, I love it, I love it. And then I go back with the Influence Foam Wrap. It's in an unmarked bottle because I sell these too. My customers. Ugh. Move that out the way. So, let's see. Lakeisha, you and Gigi are always on fire. <laughs> it's never a dull moment around this mug. Like, never. Ever. And now, we're roommates. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just want to get this dry. Because she's going to go. And I also want to see how her hair holds up. So I'm gonna dry this. I'm still gonna put foam on her hair, but I wanna dry this just a little bit. I don't like this. I've never used this little mess right here. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna say mess because somebody, this is somebody's real blow dryer. Like, but I don't use stuff like this. But I'll, um, how did I end up getting this? Oh, I need to put these tracks in my hair. And I realized I didn't have a blow dryer because I gave my blow dryer to my assistant and it was a Ferrari. And so I went to the beauty supply store down the street and I got this because I was like, I just need to blow these tracks dry. So that's why I have this. I do not, I don't know how this performs. So, you know, somebody's going to ask me that. And I'm going to say, I don't know. The Ferrari is more, it sounds more. And it also has a, a stronger blow. So already, I wouldn't pick this. But don't get it twisted. I can beat some hair up with some regular cheap stuff and make it still look like it's absolutely amazing. 30 people, y'all popping. This is what time I need normally come on over here on Facebook. So listen. Well, wait till I get done. <laughs> Here's what I like about blow drying. It will make your hair thicker. So for someone like Gigi, her hair... It's going to be a benefit to her to have a fuller top. Baby, come give me something on. Right, so I just wanted to get that a little bit dry at the top, cut down some of the dryer time, and I just didn't want to blow dry her hair, so. 
that's really why. Yeah. But people do this all the time. You see people, all them, uh, I don't know, Instagram famous people, they do this all the time. That's actually how they, they do a lot of blow drying and they just wave the sides. Um, so it's, it's your world. You figure it out. Now, what I'm going to do is comb her hair down. And if you're in shorthairbootcamplive.com, shameless plug, it's a website that I have where I teach you how to do short hairstyles like the Holly Berry look all the time. You can watch the videos 24 hours a day on any mobile device. So most of you guys know Gigi. Somebody might say, why do I always do Gigi hair? Because Gigi's like my BFF and we're always together and she brought, like she pushes, she forces me. So this is how she gets her hair done. <laughs> Gigi forces me. Oh God. She about to go get real cute real quick. Right. So I'm going to put the foam wrap and I'm going to spray her hair down. I know you might be like, why are you blow dried? And it still works. Don't worry. Just trust the process. The thing about this is that you want to, especially on like a client that has thinner edges, you want to come in here. I always say three quarters of an eyebrow, guys. On anyone's face, three quarters of an eyebrow will bring their face to symmetry, okay? It's going to make them look slimmer, taut. Not tight, but taut, okay? So we want to take the hair and divide it. Just kind of get it in its... Everybody need to get situated. All the little hairs need to get situated, right? Because I want to make sure that her corners of her face are just tight and, and very snug. So I'm going to, I hope y'all can see. Turn this way. Let's see if y'all can see. I'm trying to do this without, it's so hard with these dang cameras in the way. Oh, I could just kneel. How about that? So I'm just going to put some little, nothing major, just some soft, soft little waves, nothing major. I can't see down there. Hold on. <laughs> If you want to see some real up and close waves, log on to the website. Because <laughs> I can't see. Sorry, y'all. I'm just putting like some soft waves because I'm going to curl her hair up in like a pink curl look. But I just want to kind of get the waves in place and show you guys. Oops. There go rain, y'all. Rain, man. About to make it rain. So, not doing anything super special. I'm going to put waves in her hair, and then I'm going to explain to you the process. And <laughs> rain feeling really hurt. Mm -hmm. So, almost done, y'all. Oh, sorry, y'all hear rain up there. I'm trying to get through so I can show you guys. So, when I turn it around, I will explain. I'm using the uh, Influence Foam Wrap, and I use their Royal Silk Setting Lotion. And this is literally just a basic, usual style that Gigi gets. Nothing major. Now, here's, what, here's the deal when I do some little wavy looks. I don't like them to look perfect. I'm going to curl through it. So I'm not trying to do anything in particular. But get the hair set. Gigi, look up. So, as you can see, her hair is blow dried at the top. We did waves on the side, right? The key when you blow dry the hair or the key in waves in general, the key in general is this area right here. This is so freaking important. Y'all, people be looking bald-faced on Pinterest. I can't stand when I see them pictures and the pole lady just look like she don't got no hair. So just make sure that these areas um, are covered up. You could even take some of the front of her hair, depending on the client, and bring that down. I just, because guys, how you set the hair sets the tone. Okay? So, if you want to really close up all the gaps. You ever look at those pictures and the people got like gapped edges? That's being OCD, but hey, that's me. 
I don't want to have my client looking like that on pictures. It's not that we're going to keep this right here. It's just, I don't know, just do it right here. It makes your job easier when it's time to curl. I can't see. I'm trying to keep my head out the camera, but that's not working. There we go. So I just want the format of the waves. Keep that like it is. See, look. Look what happened on her. Look, it's sideways. It it's crazy. I don't know why it's doing that. Facebook is possessed. Facebook just flip-flopped. Are y'all sideways right now, Facebook? The camera changed. Can't see. Exactly. I don't know what. Wow. That is so weird. In the middle of a stream, the camera just changes. That's interesting. Everyone who keeps asking about a beauty supply store. So, okay, let me explain to you guys. I made the video talking about opening up a beauty supply. I think y'all thinking too big. Okay? So, this is what I meant. Go to a company like Influence. Go to a company like Design Essentials. Buy up a bunch of ish. Go to Alibaba. Get you some lashes. Get you some glue. Get you some all of that. Put it in your house. Boom. Beauty supply. That's all I was saying. People keep asking me. I don't have a beauty supply, but please believe I have a lot of inventory. And if I wanted to start selling hair products, it would be a beauty supply store that I have because I supply beauty stuff, right? So, guys, don't overthink it. Just start small. Some of y'all trying to open up. Go against the Asians. That don't make sense. Start small in your neighborhood. Be the go-to person with all the hair products, right? And then from there, you can do whatever the hell you want to do. Open up an in-person store or keep it digital. Go door-to-door -door like Annie Malone and her team did back in the 18, whatever that was. That's all I was saying was we're waiting for something to happen, and the clients are waiting for us to give them the right products for their hair. And our hair, black hair products should not be in the hands of people who ain't. I'm just going to leave that right there. It just don't make sense. You go into a beauty supply, and you're asking them questions, and they have no clue about you. Go to an expert so that you can get growth, and that's for anybody, right? Now, granted, you go somewhere, and they do know, but half 90 times out of, you know, 100, they don't. So my point was, because I get that email a lot, can you help me start a beauty supply? No. I'm sorry. I inspired mm -hmm. you to do so. I'm actually glad I inspired you to do so, but all I meant was go buy some products and be a beauty supplier. That was all. It wasn't nothing else to that. That wasn't nothing else to that. Not go against the ages. I'm just saying. Most people get in this, in, and most people that email me are literally like, in their mind, they want to set up a shop like the most popular. Because Asians run black beauty. It's not racist. It's a fact. They own, it's some crazy number that Asians, the Asian shops, or Oriental, whatever the proper term is, it's a crazy number. They literally dominate the black market with hair that they don't wear. So my point is, get you some hair extensions, get you some makeup, get you some stuff, and own your own beauty supplies, and then sell it to people. See, the problem is most people don't know how to sell. You need customers to sell things. So we about to talk about that while Gigi goes under the dryer. So Terry says that's a fact. Seriously, and it's no shade. It's just start small and then grow. That's it. Hold on, y'all. So this is what I was saying for all of you guys who wanted to know. I was saying open up a beauty supply as in go buy a bunch of beauty supplies and sell them. That was it. That was all. So there's nothing you need to learn to start. You just go buy products. But here's the problem. Most people don't know how to sell things. So that's what we're going to talk about why Gigi's under the dryer. Because most people don't know how to sell. Most people take shorthairbootcamplive.com. Go check it out. That's my site where I teach you how to do short hair, right? Most people get on that website, and the first thing they tell me is that they love all of these tutorials, but they actually don't have customers to do all the styles on. And so I created the Book Stylist program so that you can also work on your skill set and build clientele. So most people go, where do I start? What do I do? It's so simple. I'm going to teach you guys my formula. Are you guys ready? Put ready in the comments. If you want to know right now, put ready in the comments. Let me see if you guys are awake and listening. Do you work out of a salon? No, I, I'm, I don't do hair anymore. 
I just do hair wherever I'm at for the tutorials and that's it. What brand of foam lotion do you use? Influence. I had to get that emergency dryer also. Yeah, it, it, it gets your tracks together. My phone was tripping. I'm back. What up, Marquita? Does your CEO classes cover tips on opening a beauty supply store? Uh, no. Um, it, it sells, though. So if you want to sell some products in your beauty supply store, yes. I see you guys saying ready, ready, ready. I love it. I love it. I love it. Lakeisha, you and Gigi are always on fire. <laughs> We're crazy. We're so crazy. So what up, guys? Ready, ready, ready. What up, Keish? What up, Denise? That's my nail tech in Dallas. Ain't nobody like this chick, man. I be going everywhere trying to get nails just like hers. She's amazing. If you're in Dallas, you need to put your, um, your uh, Instagram and stuff on the comments. Um, Deborah says, ready. Okay, y'all ready. Y'all ready. Okay, listen, people. Let me tell y'all the formula because you may wake up tomorrow. You may be like, oh, it's a new day and I still don't got no customers. What do I do? Here it is, guys. I'm going to just tell y'all. Write this down. Put this in your memory because this is what it takes to hustle, okay? This is what it takes to hustle for anything that you're selling. But we're going to talk to the beauty people. Makeup, eyelashes, hairstylists, massage therapists, all of y'all. We're going to talk to y'all, okay? So here's the secret. Here's my secret. Here's what I've been doing for the last 10 years, and it's actually been working, and I actually make a lot of money. That's my boo. Yes, I do nails. Book with me. Yes, I do nails.com. Yes, that's my boo. Okay, so listen. I see you guys saying ready. Here's what you do. All you got to do is get up. That's number one. Rule number one is get up. Okay, now listen. When you get up, you cannot wake up on the wrong side of the bed. You can, now here, you may wake up on the wrong side of the bed, but you can't live there. So when you get up, there's a couple things you got to do when you get up in the morning time, okay? Let me tell you guys a little bit about it. When you get up in the morning and you get ready to face your day, you have to get your mindset in the right position to receive all that is all that belongs to you by divine right. Everything is around you. Every Abundance is here. Money is here. Things that we want, it's all here. Okay? There's nobody like, it, it, it's no secret thing that's happening. Everything is here and it surrounds us. But in order to receive it, we have to remove the limiting beliefs. We have to get past the stress. And we have to stop looking at what we currently see trying to figure it out. Because we've got to have faith. And in order to keep our mentalities there so that we can receive, when you get up, not only are you, first of all, gratitude is the first thing because the day is not promised. Tonight's not promised. To the next couple of seconds, not promised, right? So when you get up, you got to get your mentality right, okay? You got to get your mind right. So get the first at least 15 minutes. If you don't have 15, 10 minutes for yourself, something is wrong. You don't have an excuse just because you're a mother or a pastor's wife, all these excuses I see. It doesn't matter. Some of the busiest people in the world say that if you do not have 10 minutes for yourself in the morning to pour into yourself, to pour into yourself, something is wrong. So in the morning, your first step, here's what we, we talk about clientele building. Follow me, people. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Listen, your first step is going to be to get up. And when I say get up, I mean mentally get up, get ready. Get your game face on. Get your spirit right. Pour into yourself. Tell yourself that you're ready. Tell yourself that you are enough. Tell yourself that you have what it takes. Tell yourself that you're freaking amazing. Tell yourself, self, I love you. I love you so much. You got to talk to yourself. You got to be your own hype man. Right now in the comments, put I am my own hype man. Some of you guys are waiting for someone to come to you and pat you on the back. And while that feels great, it doesn't always happen. I'm so glad that my dad raised me that way. I'm so, it's a gift and a curse because sometimes people want to help you and I got like this thing because I'm used to doing it by myself, right? But oh my goodness, everything I've been able to achieve is because I've been my own cheerleader. I don't wait for someone to cheer for me. I am my own cheerleader. So in the morning when I get up, I'm waking myself up spiritually, okay? Spiritually before I go out. Guys, it's extremely important. You might be saying, what does this have to do with clientele building? It has everything to do with clientele building because let me tell you why. If you believe you're not good enough when you wake up, do you think you're going to attract the perfect clientele? Somebody riddle me that, yes or no. Somebody riddle me that, yes or no. If you think you're not good enough, do you think that you're going to be able to attract this amazing life, these bills paid, all of this? You're going to attract the right man. Like, literally, what you think, you attract. So if you think that you're not good enough, I'm really interested to know 
what you think you will attract. Exactly. I see you guys saying no. Exactly. You've got to push yourself and believe in yourself. So that's why when you follow my live streams, when I'm talking, I'm always talking about faith. I'm always talking about the power of your words. I'm always talking about these things because this is, this is like crazy. Like this stuff matters. This stuff matters. Exactly. So what you believe, what you believe actually dictates your actions. Let me, let me, I like to sit right here for a second because it's most people, it just, it flies right over your head. Okay. And what happens is I get these emails where it's like, I want to be able to take my kids out. I want to be able to take care of my husband. I want to be able to finally put some money on the table. I want to be able to open up my salon. I want to be able to just freaking go out to eat. I want to be able to make my rent that's due on, on September the 1st. These are the kinds of emails that I get. I see you guys saying, I am my own hype man. I see you. I see you. That's right. You have to be. People be like, Keisha, how you just be so, because I turn myself on. Please believe I have down moments. I'm not hyper all the damn time, contrary to what you guys think. I'm typically quiet in a recruit. I like to be by myself and be a little nerd and work, right? But when it's time to be on, it's nothing. I get into it. I'm here. I'm there. I'm present. When I wake up, I'm grateful. I'm pouring into myself before anybody can talk to me. That's why my ringers are off. All of that stuff is off. I don't look at it unless I go to it. That way nobody can interrupt my time. So when you get up mentally, that's when it's about to pop off, okay? Dang, my phone died when logged up for the first time. What's up, Tiki? So listen, first step of getting clientele is get up. If you didn't, if you just logging on, rewind, because it's not your typical get up. It's about your mentality. I go deeper into this in the in the book stylist program, but that's just the, the gist of it. You need to know that when you get up, you gotta pour into yourself because your actions are governed by what you believe. So if you believe you suck, then your week is gonna suck. And every client that you get is gonna suck. Your man gonna suck. And it's all going to be down here, okay? So we can't have these kind of thoughts and limiting beliefs, okay? Because it governs what we do. If we think we're not good enough, we're going to show up at that job interview, at the salon interview. We're going to go approach a client and we're going to be like, hey, my name is so-and-so and -and this is my business. That's not going to attract a clientele, a booming business. They're going to say, and next, I'm looking for the person who's on fire about their business. I'm looking for the person who is excited about what they're up to. That is what clients are attracted to. Now, listen, you ain't got to be Keisha. Keisha's not normal. I got a little bit too much energy for everybody. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is be you. Be the best version of you. Be the fired up version of you. All right? So step number one is get up. Step number two is get dressed. Now, I'm going to say this, and somebody's going to get offended, but you know what? It's got to be what it's got to be. Now, listen, I'm at home. I'm in my little lounge clothes. It's okay. Here's what I'm talking about. I ain't talking about trying to like no housewife of Atlanta or none of these people on these reality shows because that's just too much. That makes people quit because in your mind, you got to go put on a gang of makeup and all of this stuff. No. What I'm saying is when you get up, you're mentally woken, you're ready, you're prepared, you're poured into yourself, you're fired up, you've been getting your beliefs together about who you are, about where you're going, about your vision. So then what you got to do is get dressed. Now, so many hairstylists, I see you online, y'all be sending me messages and I look at your thing and like you smoke all the weed, all the cigarettes, your hair look like rats living there. It's a mess and it's unacceptable. I just had a little thing the other day on YouTube, State of the Union. This was State of, this was State of the Hairdressers address. Hairdressers, you can't be looking crazy. We do not get to just be like, I'm a hairdresser, but you look like you smoke all the cigarettes, like a, bo- a box at a time. Like you put the whole box in your mouth, like you just smoking all the cigarettes. You, you can't look like that. You can't, even if, it's, even if it's what you do. When it's time to go market, you put your cigarette smoking stuff down and you look like a professional, okay people? And listen, I done told y'all a hundred times, a Ross budget will get your life together. You come out of Ross looking like new money, okay? You don't need to go buy Gucci and Lucci and all of them. You could just go to Ross. I, I, just, I pick Ross because hopefully every city has one. If you're out the country, Ross is cheap, okay? So wherever you want to go, go to Forever 21, hell. You can get a lot of stuff there. You just don't get to look crazy. Too many hairstylists, y'all looking like rundown strippers. It doesn't make sense. I'm so over it. I'm so over it. The clients are over it. I've had clients inbox me and say, I see some of these hairstylists following you and I wouldn't let them touch my hair because of the way they look. And I'd be like, oh no, oh no. And at first I wouldn't say nothing because I was like, well, that's their thing. 
But you know what I feel? I feel that in my program, The Book Stylist, we're going to talk about how you look, okay? So in the program, we talk about your power look, finding your power look. And it's very simple. It's a process that I did when I was getting ready to become the book stylist when I was working on becoming booked and trying to build my clientele. I had to get a uniform for work so that whenever I was doing my thing, and just a uniform in general, when I go run errands and stuff, so I'm not looking just crazy all the time because what happens is you're at the grocery store looking like bum fest too and you see a client, a potential client or your client, and you're looking like, oh my God. And it's a, <laughs> I love Ross. I'm in Ross now. Girl, yes. This speaker I got from Ross, it's amazing. That speaker I be using to jam with y'all, it costs $30 at Ross. So I'm not too good for Ross. I'm just saying, the fact that Ross exists, everybody can scrape up some change. Do some strange for a little piece of change. If you have to, get you a couple outfits, girl. All right. So I'm just, I'm just kidding. Uh, sometimes I'm not. Maybe not. But just get you a nice outfit. So let's... <laughs> Y'all crazy, y'all crazy, y'all crazy, y'all crazy. I see these comments. I need that spray bottle. Where can I get it? Off the subject, but this is, um, I got it at like uh, Armstrong McCall or whatever this, the professional, but I think Sally's has these now. It's a, it's a, what is it called? Continuous spray bottle. Get it on Amazon. All right, so I was gonna ask about the spray bottle to Sally's don't have it. Yes, some Sally's do have it. Um, but order on Amazon. So listen, people. Step number one, get up. Step number two, get dressed. You have no excuse. Stop looking like a bum because bums attract bums. Okay? Smoking packs of cigarettes a day smoke, attract cigarettes smoking. Let me tell you something. My clients that used to come in and smell like cigarettes, I used to be like, I can't. Like, I can't take it. I need the classy smoker. I'm not against smoking. I need the one that don't smell like 20 packs. Okay? So, mm, but if that's what you like, if that's your clientele, have fun. But I'm going to just tell you, six-figure stylists do not look like bums. Bums attract bums. The end. So next thing, get up, get dressed, pump yourself up, get your sex and y'all, find your uniform, your power look, and then you've got to get people. Keisha, what does it mean to get people? Hmm, here's what that means. Kim Kardashian has millions of followers. And guess what? She got their attention because of the way she looks and because of the stuff that she wears and because of all the other things that don't, Give her immediate money. But because now that she has their attention, she's able to do step number four, which is convert that people, those people. She converts the people that she got. She got their attention, right? She converts them into uh, $14.4 million in 10 minutes. She launched the makeup line and in 10 minutes made $14.4 million in our beauty industry. Why? Because she gathered people's attention and she's able to take their attention and convert it into a transaction. Remember, your business ain't a business unless you get in transactions, boo. If not, you're just having a hobby. You're, you're, I don't know, wasting time. I don't know. But I know I'm about my coinage, okay? That's what it's all about. I love it. Miss Put Together is putting her, her notes down. She says, get up. She says, get your mind right. She says, get dressed. And three, get people. Number three is get people. Four is convert them. You want to get people, you want to convert people, okay? Somebody says, what, Keisha, what is convert? Again, Kim Kardashian got people's attention, so you need to get people, you need to get people. You gotta get out and get people's attention, okay? So some of you guys are only posting a, a book, I, book my appointment right now, book on my website. That shit doesn't convert anybody. Why do I need to click on your website? I don't know you, or I don't care enough. People are weird, this is the way we think. When someone sends me their website, I'm like, why do I need to do that? When people say, Keisha, call me, I say, why? You're not going to just get people to call you and people to book you. It just doesn't make sense, okay? So, Facebook is tripping again. Oh, my gosh. It says you guys can just see my lips. That is so weird and creepy. Hold on, Facebookers. Sorry, y'all. The camera about to be shaking all over the place. Facebook is tripping. Okay, so hopefully... Tell me what you guys oh, tell me what you guys can see on Facebook. So you want to get people's attention. She said, girl, I'm about to get the tamarind and get <laughs> I love it. Facebook, let me know if you can see me. Okay, so listen. What I was saying, I forgot. Oh, convert people. So when people click sitting at home is not getting people. Posting on Facebook is not getting people. Now after you get a certain amount of following, you do get people's attention, i.e., that's what I'm doing right now. I get your attention, and, you know, some of you guys are going to buy some stuff. Great. But 
before you get there, most people aren't, you have to build credibility. And guys, the best way to do it, the best way to get customers is to actually get outside and talk to people, have conversations. Now, some of you guys are like, I'm too busy. Oh my God, I'm shy. I don't know what to say. I freeze up. Oh my God. It is your duty to get out and get people. It is your duty to get out and get people. Put the camera just, I think it's just different for everyone. Facebook is so weird right now. I can't take it. Oh, let me tell you something. Every day the internet has been, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. It says the continue. So sorry, Facebookers. Facebook, you effing up my presentation. Okay, so listen. <laughs> Y'all just gonna have to listen. Don't look at me if you're looking at some weird part of my body. Don't be perverted. So listen. <laughs> some of you guys say you can see me. Some people say they can only see my lips. I ain't put on lipstick all day, so they ain't even looking pretty. OMG. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's the dealio. When you are getting people, because you got to get their attention, you've got to do more than just post. If you don't have a following, I think that is so crazy to sit at home and think that posting all day is going to get you. It's a slow roll. Honey, you got to get outside. And go do your everyday things. Go to the grocery store. Go to Walgreens. Go to CVS. Go to Starbucks. Go to Target. Go to the mall. Go to all the stores in the mall, all the women's stores, all the stores where your ideal client would be. Right? Go meet people. It drives you nuts because it's like, oh, my God, I got to actually get out and talk to people. Yep, that's what we're still doing in 2017. I know, I know. All these Facebook ads trying to make you think you're going to get rich online. Have fun with that. But let me tell you how you get money in the next seven days. You get out and you get people's attention. What do I mean? You walk up to them and you let them know who you serve, how you can help them, and what will happen if they book you within the next 48 hours, within the next 14 days, within the next seven days. You give them a, 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 a bribe that they can't refuse because you know you're going to serve them. You know you're going to get them in your environment and you're going to pour into them. You've got to get their attention. So many people are broke just because they don't have people's attention. So hey guys, look at the way the celebrity world works. People do crazy stuff right now so they can get a attention all these rumors about the kardashians being pregnant they're doing it's a coincidence that their show just did something where they needed a lot of views right and they're releasing all these different rumors one of them is supposed to be true but the other ones everybody's like oh they're trying to get views they understand the power of attention you can call it what you want but it's just attention you need it you have to have it on your business why do you think people pay billions of dollars for advertising because once somebody there's a numbers game that goes with the amount of people that look at you there's an amount of people that watch this right now that will buy from me, period. It's just the way that it works, okay? So listen, you need people's attention on your business, always. Some of you guys keep telling me stuff like, I just hate Facebooks, and it's just too much going on, and I just don't do the internet. Okay, well, have fun with that. But in general, I'm just going to tell you guys, I make a full-time income off of the internet, okay? Now, it didn't happen because I was, oh, my God, social media popular, it happened from all the groundwork of me going out, speaking. I spent a year speaking at like three to four schools a week, going to three to four salons a week. I went out and marketed myself and still have a list of salons and schools that I'm about to round back up, get on the, on the trail and talk to people again because I understand the power of attention, okay? There's a, it's a conversion game. So let's talk about converting people. Remember, get people and then you want to convert the people. Convert them means you want them to take an action, okay? So whether it's sign up for your email list. Some of you guys keep posting your website like somebody gives a crap. No one cares. No one cares. I don't. I know. I When people see, I, what, there's got to be a reason for me to go there. Do you have something free for me there? Are you going to give me a discount? You ever notice when you go to these little blog websites, um, like the fashion ones, they say, give us your email so we can give you 15% off today. Two things in that. You're going to get the email address. They're going to get it. And so that way they can follow up with you and be in your face. And they make you buy quicker because you are literally, um, you have a, a deadline. So you go, oh, well, I want the 15% now. And so then you fall for that. So you want to convert people, whether it's something free, whether it's something paid. You want to be a converter. You don't want to be popular and broke. So many people in L.A., are literally popular on social media, got 100 million followers, and they be like, how are you making money? I got only like five followers. And they be like, I don't understand. How do you do it? 
because you're not good at converting people. I am. Cling. So you want to get up, get dressed, get people, convert people, okay? And last but not least, well, it's not last, next to last. Next to last is you want to actually keep people, okay? So a percentage of the people that actually log on to your website or do business with you, you want to actually keep them, all right? You want to keep them. You want to keep a percentage. Not everybody. You cannot keep everybody. It's literally impossible. But there is a percentage of people that love you and want to rock with you even when you are just beginning. So for those people who think that they're not there yet, they're not good enough, blah, 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 there are people that will stick with you because they see that you're constantly learning and you're a life learner and you're growing and you give them excellent customer service. You get them in and out of your salon, your spa, whatever. So listen, you want to, you want to keep these people in your business, a percentage of them, a percentage. Did you check? Your hair probably ain't dry. How many minutes was that? Get people, convert people, then you want to keep them. A percentage of the people that you meet, a percentage of the people that you meet will want to carry on with you. So you want to create relationships with them when you get them in your business, okay? And then a percentage of them will carry on. So here's what happens. Here's what happens. Let me give you an example. Most people that have bought Short Hair Boot Camp from me are in the Book Stylist program. Most people that have bought my private uh, CEO mastermind are in the book stylist or they're in short hair boot camp. Most people that have bought one thing from me have bought three things from me, right? Because maybe four things, whatever, because they like I can keep a percentage of those people. Not everybody will, but a percentage of them will because I do great business, right? And according to them, not because I'm on my own horse. And then boom, I don't see you at all now. Child, look, I don't know. Facebook is doing some weird stuff. And I can't be concerned because I don't know what's going on. Go to YouTube. I think YouTube is perfectly fine. So we're streaming right now on YouTube and Facebook. So people, I love it. You got to have a target. Exactly. Facebook is doing some weird stuff right now. Um, so I'm not really sure why. But if you can hear me, stay on, listen, and get your life. So did you come over here? So again, guys. You want to get up, get dressed, get people, convert people, and then keep a percentage of those people. Step number six is you want to rinse and eff and repeat. I've had so many people say, what do I do after I've done this little challenge? You keep freaking doing it. It takes six months to a year, okay? So you've got to be committed. You've got... You've got to be committed and you've got to have a vision that's bigger than you. You've got to have a reason why you're doing this. If you're just trying to make some money for tomorrow's bill, then you ain't going to last because you're going to get frustrated when you go get your people because getting those people requires you to be uncomfortable. It requires you to get out and go to the store and talk to strange people that you don't know and tell them that you are a specialist or whatever you do. It requires you to get uncomfortable. And most people prefer these days to hide behind Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. You wanna hide behind it. And you think, oh, I'm posting every day. Well, I got some likes, honey. Likes don't pay nothing. Like my mentor say, last time I checked, I woke up and liked myself and that was enough. Everybody else's likes are extras, okay? So, every, you don't, like likes don't necessarily pay you unless you're some big brand. And for the most part, my audience, you're trying to get clientele so that you can get to the life that you love. The only reason that we're in business, the only reason that I'm in business is so that I can get my, my business is the vehicle. It's my baby. It's a vision that I have to help people, but it's also, it helps me get to the lifestyle that I want because I design my life. Put that in the comments right now. I design my life. Come on, Gigi. G. Gigi. You yeah, you didn't hear me calling you. No, I wasn't I, I called you like 50 times. I wasn't Everybody on Facebook called Gigi. I so, I let me find the other curling iron. Stuff is all a mess because ugh, moving is annoying as F. 
So now that Gigi's hair is dry, we're going to... <laughs> Y'all hear rain up there. They talking about, hey, Gigi. Hey. I designed my life. I see you guys. I see you saying, I designed my life. I see you saying, look at Shivali. Hey, Gigi. <laughs> right. I love it. So right now, guys, pause because I've been throwing you a lot of content. Take time and, guys, really write this down. You need to get up. You've got to get dressed. Okay? And you've got to keep people. That is so important. Oh, my G. It is so important. You really would. People off my face. <laughs> Gigi wanted to delete people. So, take some time, guys. Take some time, guys, and write out. Write out the steps so that you can tomorrow when you wake up and you go, it's a new day. It's time for me to like, you know, get it, quote unquote. <laughs> That's what you got to do, guys. You get up, you get dressed, and you get people's attention, and you convert it into customers, okay? That's what you do. So listen, what we're going to do on Gigi's hair is just throw some curls in it, no big deal. About to put some curls in her hair. You see that we just, what did you just put in her hair? Um, what was it? Oh, it was an influence. So I just put a little bit of influence curl wax. Influence curl wax. Curling wax by influence. I use a lot of different stuff, guys. I'm not affiliated with any of these people. It's just what I use. Um, so I'm just going to go in and throw some curls in Gigi's hair and make it fun. I'm curling on base. And we're just going to have fun. We're going to curl in different directions. Now, the thing about doing all these cute hairstyles, guys, again, if you're not focused on sales... Sales is what makes a business a actual business. We can have all the websites in the world. Somebody tried to argue me about a website the other day. I want to say, get off my page because, duh, you can have a website. You can go make a $20 website right now. But if you don't have any traffic on your website, it is a waste of time. So let me tell you, I, it took me, I still don't have a website for the CEO stylist. And I've made, you know, 40, 60 grand this year in the last couple months off of it with no website so all y'all website people i'm sorry holler back that stuff is sexy and it makes you slow down when you're in the beginning stages of business just throw up something so you can take appointments and come back to that okay when you can invest in somebody doing your stuff for you or whatever like or i forgot to tell you guys as a bonus in the book stylist um i'm adding my website course because most of y'all keep sending me messages about i'm trying to get my website done and my whole thing with it is that most people try to get their website done, and they don't have any customers. So while your website is done, you still don't have no people on there. So what, like, why aren't you focusing on getting people? And somebody said, well, how do I get them? You get out, and you go get them. Write their phone number down on a piece of paper and have a seat. <laughs> like, what? That's a, it's so basic, but people are just trying to make things. We love making things complicated. We love it, we love it, we love it. Because it makes us feel like professionals. It makes us feel like we popping. We're we're official business owners, right? The website is for when you are more advanced. You don't need a website. You can have a Facebook page. I mean, like, you can have so much stuff. And all I did was use my Wix. I use Wix, and I still use Wix today. How about them apples? So many website developers send me messages. And I say, I'll get to it. Why do I need to care? I'm making a, hundred, a bunch of money without it. Okay? So now I can invest. I'll, I'll stop being lazy. It's really me being lazy now. But... Guys, it's 2017. I, yeah, how many guys have been on the phone with me? I will pick up the phone and collect your coins. <laughs> the end. The end all the way. So I'm just saying, guys, don't let being having a website slow you down. It's sexier than what it really re is. Unless you can get thousands of people to go to that website a day. You know, I'm just going to believe in my mouth. How about that? Jesus gave me this tongue, honey. I'm about to use it. I'm about to use it. So I'm just curling Gigi's hair. There are in-depth tutorials on, of this on shorthairbootcamplive.com. Now, here's what I'm doing for the people who are going to sign up. We got 25 spots for um, the book stylist program. The people who are going to sign up this week, because next week we start a challenge that will jumpstart you like no other and get you so beyond ready to get a booming clientele, to get you on track to being focused. Some of you guys say, oh, my God, I'm so lost. I'm so not focused. It's because you don't have the goal and the vision and the plan written down. You don't have your targets written out. So we're going to refocus because I get this email every day 
about being lost and not focused. So what we're going to do is starting next week, the, the pre-work actually goes out tomorrow, but starting next week, we're starting over, not necessarily starting over, but we're going to refocus. We're going to get our target for the next 12 weeks, and we're going to work like a team. Weekly accountability meetings, private Facebook group so that you can tell the truth about what's really happening and not be judged. You can share if you get stuck. You can share if you win. Also, we're doing role play for those of you who are scared to sell things. Guys, remember, a business is not a business if it ain't running transactions, okay? We're talking about cash money, like juvenile, BG. We're talking about money, coins. It ain't a business if it ain't making no money, okay? That's a hobby, and it sounds sexy. But if you ain't making no money, it's nothing happening, people. So I want you guys to get money. I want you to get the tra transactions. Because when you have money, it's just a tool. It gives you more options. Money lets you be able to hop on. I was literally in the car at Jumbo Juice, missing my mama, all emotional. I was like, girl, you can just get on the plane. I was like, oh, yeah. Then I calmed down. Money. You need money to just hop on planes the next day. You need that. So that's what money is for. Some of you guys have kid birthday parties for your kids, and you couldn't do nothing for them. Why? Because you were on Facebook trying to get customers instead of going out and being a super hustler. Y'all got to put yourself in the mindset of, like, some people that be at the mall, like, hello, ma'am, how are you doing? Ma'am, would you like to try this? Hey, ma'am, hey, sir, you got to be that person. Listen. Most people are scared to be that person because you're like, I don't want to be annoying and I don't want to bother people. Do your version. Do your version. But listen, those people in those malls with those carts, they making money. Those carts make a minimum of $4,500 a month just sitting there talking to people as they walk by because they recognize that attention pays, okay? Because there's just a numbers game. A percentage of those people, a percentage of those people are going to get something from them. So all they got to do is show up. Somebody in the comments right now writes, show up. Some of y'all ain't been showing up. You've been sitting at home, Googling how to build clientele, or some of you, somebody admitted to me today on email, she said, I was the person that watched your videos and get motivated but never do nothing. I said, I know. I know so many people do that because I'm entertaining. I'm slightly entertaining, slightly, right? And it's fun. But I literally am trying to help people. My goal is to help as many people as possible. I spent $22,000 on student loans and beauty school, and they ain't teaching me none of this, okay? None of this. They showed you, man, they told you how to get dressed a little bit. They showed you some outdated picture of somebody from the, you know, 70s and 80s. It didn't motivate you to do nothing. So my goal is to show you guys how to jump in this game and make money so that you can do what you want. Drive the car you want, live in the state you want, in peace. Not be your, your worries become am I gonna take this pole dancing class with Gigi or not? <laughs> That's what the worries are. Your worries are are we gonna turn up too much tonight because it's freaking Wednesday? Right. That's the worries, right? Not in a bragging way, like not in a bragging way. Y'all don't see me posting bags and money because that's just kind of stuff I don't want to attract an audience who's materialistic because I care about my family. I want my family to eat good, I care about bigger picture things. So I just want people to be able to win, okay? So I share this stuff because I literally was like, I felt bamboozled. I was like, why didn't nobody tell me that I had to actually build a business for $22,000? Y'all could at least gave me a paragraph about biz business. I'm talking about real transactions, budgeting, how to deal with your accounts and stuff. They ain't teaching you none of that. They ain't teaching you how to get your hit your targets in the salon. Some schools, very rare. I ain't going to just take it from some schools. Some schools are. Some schools are. The newer schools are, are catching on. Or you get you a big brand like Paul Mitchell and stuff. But most people don't go to those schools because they think they're too expensive. So it's like everybody's left to fend for themselves. And I was lucky enough to, to work with L'Oreal. They took me all over the U.S. for free and paid me to blog about everything they wanted to teach me. So they let me go to stuff that you have to be a million-dollar salon to even know about. Hold your ear down. They let me go to all kinds of meetings of marketing and business and, and, and riding around with the sales reps. And I got to be with the, the best hairdressers and work with them side by side, watching them cut, watching them put hair shows together, being on stage with Nicholas French several times, being flown out because they he requested me to be up there with him after I was done with the tour with L'Oreal. Like, this is what... You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, there's a whole part of the industry I felt like wasn't being shown to everyone. And I was just like, dang, this is not fair. It's crazy. 
I get to experience this and most people will never in their whole career see what I've seen because most of it is just you have to know somebody. And, and, and again, most people sitting in their house waiting for somebody to come knock on their door. So my goal with the book Stylist is for you guys to get freaking fired up about the fact that you can create a barely recognizable life. You literally can live the way you want. I mean, I'm talking about the way you want. You could be smart, stack some money, go take all your hair money and start, I don't know, a record label. You could do all kinds of stuff. That's the kind of stuff I can do, right? And you can too because I'm no different from you. I'm not better than you. So my goal is to just share with you guys on a regular basis. That's why I do the CEO Stylist live chats with you guys because I just love to share what I have learned and everything that's working for me. So in the Book Stylist program, guys, some of you guys are wondering, how do I get access? You can go to thebookstylist.com, the booked stylist, T-H-E. Somebody put it in the comments, both sides, Facebook and YouTube, my virtual assistants. <laughs> you guys, some of you be rocking with me every day, and I'm so grateful for you. If you go to thebookstylist.com, the investment for this course, that will teach you how to get up, get dressed, convert people, get people, keep them, and then rinse and freaking repeat. The, the investment for this course is simple. Three easy payments of $125. You can start today for $520s, okay? I don't count the last one because, you, you know, if you got to go get the other five, you should have $25. If you don't, that means you definitely need to be in this course and you got to really just get your hustle mode on. The, the challenge starts now, right? But the course, literally, you can start for three twenty for I'm sorry, $125. And you pay the payments 30 days apart. So you, you literally, most people get their money back within the first week of joining the course. Some people within the first two weeks, right? Some people would join pregnant and just wanted to get it while they could, and that way, you know, they have it for when they, not had a, when they had a baby. I literally have had people do that as well. You guys do not want to miss this. Don't spend your time Googling and looking at everybody that looks like they're winning on social media. How about you get up, get dressed, get people, convert people, and keep them, and you start winning. You start being able to give your husband some extra money for the bills. You start being able to take your children to that theme birthday or whatever the hell. These kids like expensive stuff these days. It goes down. I was looking at trying to get rain a little Bentley car. <laughs> right. It's like these car, these toys are crazy. Turn your head this way to the wall. So, guys, the book stylist program is all about teaching you in depth those details. We have role play. So, for those of you who are scared to talk to people, you're like, oh, my God, I understand what Keisha's saying but I don't have confidence. This is the course where you gain it. How about getting in a safe environment, a private membership, where you can actually post videos of yourself practicing um, what you're going to say to your customers? How about understanding sales in depth, figuring out how to listen to the customer and let them know you can give them what they're looking for, figuring out who your ideal customer is, and then coming up with scripts so that when you walk up to people, it's not just pulling out your butt the, every time, Right? It's, you're literally like, okay, I got this. That's how you get confidence. Some of you guys always ask me about how to get confidence. You get it from practice. Mm -hmm. You get it from practice. I didn't wake up just popping. I just, all these years of failing and practicing and listening to my customer, because the customer will tell you what you need to know. They'll tell you what they want. The customer will tell you what they want. But you've got to be willing to listen to them, Okay? You've got to be willing to listen to them and then implement. You've got to be willing to implement. So the book stylist program, go to thebookstylist.com. Want to come back to Cleet to do a class for us. Three easy. Thank you, uh, Eve, thebookstylist.com. Thank you, guys. You guys rock. Sarah say preach, girl. I'm preaching tonight, huh? Sha -na -na. I felt that thing. Yes, Lakeisha Michelle live. I'm going to share with my team. <laughs> What's up, Sarah? Um, are you saying do I want to come somewhere? Inbox me. Let me know. I call people on Facebook, and that is make part sure of how. Two tickets. <laughs> Gigi always travel with me. Money is a tool to help you make better memories. Exactly. What's y'all's Instagram so we can follow each other? I love it. Yeah, I love when you guys do that. Follow each other's Instagrams. Get your followers up. This is awesome, Lakeisha. It's been a minute. What's up, Shonda? What did you put in her hair? Uh, influence. I designed my life. You guys are on freaking fire. So this is what y'all telling me. Y'all like nighttime chants too? Gigi mm -hmm. gonna kick me out because I'm loud as fuck. So. <laughs> I think, let's see, we met at Sandra Car Salon. I love it. See, okay, cool. Well, yes, hit me up. Inbox me. So she was actually someone I met on the tour when I was with Matrix. Amazing. Hit me up for sure. 
So uh, we have a, like a little travel. Shell's putting together a whole little travel circuit that I'm about to do. So we could totally add that in there. Um, but this program is all about, guys, getting clientele, building your clients. If you're looking to get more clients, if you're looking to get more money in your salon, this is what you want to join, okay? I've tried to make it as simple as possible. I want it to be layman's terms. That means I'm not using big complicated terms like conversions and SEO and all these different stuff. I'm telling you how to get up and get some people, okay? Because people pay you. So all I need you to do is get the people. You got to get their attention. You got to get them to give you money on a consistent basis. And so we have a whole program where literally I'm teaching you your money. How about we talk about money? See, some of y'all be like, I don't want to talk about, we talk about money goals, okay? There's a workbook that I give you as a part of this course that teaches you how to, tilt your head this way, that teaches you how to um, plan out the money that you're going to get for the month, okay? And some of you are like just starting, so maybe it's going to take you three months to get that goal. But we make goals, and we actually, we don't let them sit on a vision board with a pretty picture. Honey, we mark out what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, when we're going to do it, and that kind of thing. So you definitely want to be a part of this course because it will give you confidence. It will. I love when people post that they are, you know, $50 away from their number goal for the month or for the week. And it's something about knowing exactly what the heck is going on that gives you peace of mind. Even if you're not doing what you want to be doing, the fact that you can look and say, you know what, I'm on track, man, that feels good. It keeps you going. So that's what this program is all about, guys. That literally is what this program is all about. I'm committed to getting this into as many hands as possible, as many hands as possible. So I'm telling you guys about it all day, every day, period, point blank. Some of you guys will watch this for another five times and then finally say, you know what? I need to win. I'm about to join. I finally, I'm finally about to do it. Go to thebookstylist.com. Now, if you want to pay it full and make and save some money, um, I think there's a few more slots for the private webinar with me where we deep dive into your business. Um, you can pay $337, which saves you about $38, $38 savings, and it's a one-time payment. So for some of you, you don't like payment plans. You want to get it over with so you can focus and not be worried about did you pay your bill. Some of y'all, let me tell y'all something about this payment plan too. Don't be signing up for the payment plan and you know you don't pay your bills on time. Because that's just annoying. <laughs> I am not a finance company, okay? I'm not going to be chasing you. I'm not going to be seeing you post about what you just bought your kids and you ain't pay your book stylist bill. Okay? So, uh-uh. And then that just tells me what you think about your business because... At the end of the day, this business will make you make your money back. That's and, and Listen, I can't do the work for you, so that ain't no fact for everybody. But for the most part, literally people are booking clients, and they're building their clientele. Literally, these are not like I'm not stretching the truth. This is what's happening. So for those of you who are interested in building, this is what you want to do, okay? So right now I'm just curling Gigi's hair, um, just trying to get the iron hot. There we go. Nothing major. I'm just putting some curls in. We did the blow dry at the top. Hey, Precious. Who's Precious? Oh, Precious. Girl. Eve, I need to hire you. Eve, be on it. See, I be thinking, Eve, when I see you online, I feel like you're like that person's secret weapon. Like, you just need a couple clients on retainer. Something that's just super easy. And you just do all of this, what you're doing right now. <laughs> just do that part right there, because... Don't nobody want to do that? I don't. <laughs> she be on it. She be tagging folks, speaking to folk. So, I'm just curling Gigi's hair. I'm using the Marcells. You don't have to use the Marcells. You can do all of this with a flat iron. Turn this one for me. Um, but, I'm just like, you know, I like Marcells. I don't know. I like them. I like them. I like them. And that's it. So I'm just going through and putting curls. We don't have a rotating chair. Why did you stop doing hair? Because I'm making Actually. Cause I'm making money doing other things. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I got in this industry with a goal. Talk about a target. I wanted to take myself from behind the chair. So I use the same strategies that I'm telling y'all about. 
I'm using the same strategies to build other things. So, yep, that's why. I do hair when it's fun. Like, I just play in it. Like, y'all see Gigi all the time, first of all, because we're, like, together all the time. And it's just easy. <laughs> but also because, um, well, that's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> right. I have, uh, I wanted to start an online uh, school for short hair. Not, not necessarily, a, well, it's kind of a school. But it, everything's evolving. I just wanted to do something different. And I wanted to use my salon money as the thing that helped me catapult my next vision. So that's what I did. Um, I'm not against doing hair. I'll go to work. Maybe not. Probably not. But I mean, I would do it again. Like if I wanted, if there were some girls here, people in California, I just don't want to focus on them right now because they're a little lazier than I would like. Um, if there were some people that was hungry, I would open a salon and get a salon manager and fill that sucker up. But I'm not focused enough. That requires your attention. And I'd rather write songs and twiddle my thumbs and like go have drinks with Gigi. So I wanted to create that kind of lifestyle where I can work from wherever, travel around the world. Like me and Gigi may go to freaking Dubai. So, you know, we just rather keep the things open. So I'm just curling little pieces of Gigi's hair. Y'all, we at home, so it's life happening right now. <laughs> right. So that's why I do hair at home, too, guys, because I don't have a studio anymore. Because it was a waste of space. I never went there. So, what's up, Uncle Pete? What's up, Kate? Hey, <laughs> what's going on? Can't get rid of me now. Never. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I, don't, I can't get rid of him either. So I don't know. <laughs> No, yeah, yes, yeah, she does. He, he don't. No, he can. He, one yeah. second, y'all. Y'all, <laughs> let me read some comments. Oh. Let Gigi go, y'all. Eve is the inspiration in the inspiration. She's amazing. You're too talented for one genre. I get so bored doing makeup. I mean, I do makeup. I do hair. Y'all see me sing on here. I do what I want. So I wanted the hair industry to be able to allow me to um, to do what I wanted. So I get to sing, dance. I don't know. It's whatever I feel. So that's the thing about the industry. That's why I'm so passionate about what I'm teaching you guys about being booked. Take that money and live the life that you want. The business is the way that you get to your vision. So my vision is to wake up when I want, work from wherever. I want to sing, pop lock class, whatever I want to do, I can go do it, right? So that's what this is about. It's about creating, um, taking your business. Now, I'm not saying get in the business, make money and quit. If that's what you want to do, I don't know. I can't control that. But... <laughs> But use your business as a means to get you to the lifestyle that you want, guys. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So, and she, I think Gigi here is sweating right there. She's doing good. Normally, she'd be sweating way before this. So, let me dry Gigi the front of her hair. So, here's what I do, guys. I throw the curls in the hair, and then I style it out. <laughs> Turn this way. So, all I'm going to do is take this off. Gigi kind of likes her hair off her face. I like it off her face as well. Well, sometimes. I want to give Gigi a little bang. I don't know how she's going to feel about that. I really don't care because I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I think you should get a bang. When next time? Yeah. I think we should. Which I think give Gigi some, some uh, bang extensions. That'd be cute. Give her a little, little side piece. I'll be all irritated. But right. Doing, you know how I keep my hand in my face. Anyway. We can put it off your face, though. What do you guys think? Should we give Gigi a, a bang? Yeah. That was hard, wasn't it? I think it'd be cute. You know, I try anything. So. How long I keep it'll be a whole different. I already know. She'll keep it for a week. She might keep the bang. It'll be cute. That way you can wear your hair straight. We'll see what she... How long as she do it, I really don't care. <laughs> we'll see. How did you temper the Marcel iron? 
Mm, it come with years. <laughs> You look at it and you go, yep, that's about written. I'm just kidding. So when you first, when I first used to have to do this, I would like touch the towel. If the, cha if the towel turns a different color, because it's blue, so if it turns white, it's too hot. Um, it didn't, so I know it's ready. Um, your heat definitely needs to be right so that um, you can do this appropriately. Because you want the hair to actually curl. What's this? So... You just, it just takes time. And let me tell you guys, I practiced on the Marcel. I practiced Marcel's on a mannequin for literally probably a year at least. For a year. So I, I want to just, like, the, the amount of practice that people don't do and be looking for some results. Like, you got to, I literally become obsessed. I immerse myself in something. When I want something, I go psycho until it's, I see the results that I'm looking for. And if I can't get those results, I go find the people that can get me those results. I go find people that have already gotten results that I'm looking for, and I make it happen. So you guys gotta understand how hungry you gotta be because that's what makes you in this business, in any business. If you ain't hungry, like, I just don't know what else to tell you. It's a, it's a, it's a slow week, that's for sure. So, You've got to figure out why you're doing this because your why keeps you going. Because if not, you'll quit. Because the business is not easy. Building clientele is not easy. There are going to be so many days you get outside and be like, oh, I don't want to do this. I'm uncomfortable, blah, blah, blah. And you still got to do it. If you want support doing that, I just think you need to be in the book stylist program because that's what we do all day, every day is get people. So... I'm more than happy to walk with you on that journey. And this program is definitely, um, it's a results action-based program. And I try to keep it as simple and to the point as possible. We meet weekly. We have a new 12-week ch challenge happening starting this Monday. Bye. <laughs> we have a new 12-week challenge starting. So... For all those people who feel like they fell off and they need to get back on track, they feel like, I don't know, whatever you feel like, that's the email I keep getting. I'm raggedy, I'm okay. Hmm? I'm raggedy, oh, we all. Girl. I'm trying to find my essations, y'all. Oh, there it is. So. Oh, I got 10%. Mm. So. The book stylist program is totally about building your clientele, learning what to say when you walk up to people, getting over being scared of getting outside of your comfort zone and talking to people, getting clear on who your clientele is. Some of you guys are trying to serve everybody and capturing no one. Okay, so we go over your customer avatar. I know you hear this so many times, but yet so many people ignore the customer avatar because, I don't know, it just seems like, oh, I don't need that. I just do hair. And it's like the more you can dial down, dial in on who you serve, the more you get those people. It's, I don't know, it's like magic, but not really because it's just like, just do it. <laughs> just figure out who it is. I knew I wanted to serve a working woman who likes nice cars, nice bags. She got a job. She got something to lose in life. So she's going to be on time. You know, she got, <laughs> she got things to do. You know, she likes to go out here and there, something classy like a lounge. You know, she just, she like, she's classy, but she's fun. She's not a stick in the mud. She laughing my dumb jokes and she cussed. Like, I like these kind of clients. So I knew, you know, I knew who she was. And so my marketing was able to shift and, I, and that woman identified herself. And then when she saw other customers like her, she went, oh, I fit in. I like it. I like it, right? It wasn't a coincidence. I did that on purpose. My clients literally would sit around and talk to each other about deep stuff so quickly. They just met. Why? Because I made sure that I created the environment for my ideal customer. And then I went where I thought they hung out. I moved to a completely different state. Some of you guys just moved somewhere. Or some of you guys are looking to move somewhere. And you're like, oh my God, how am I going to get clientele? Join this program. Join, join, join. You won't regret it. This is Exfusion. I like to use this to make the hair look fuller. It's not necessary, turn your head this way, but I like it. So Gigi has finer sides, 
So what I do is I fill them in because I like it. Some of you guys are like, don't use fillers. I don't know why you wouldn't want to give your clients confidence. First of all, this is an upcharge. This is expensive, right? So you can charge for it as well or have them buy their own, whatever you prefer. Because my clients who use this, they love it and they're like, Keisha, oh my God, I didn't even know this exists. So I got cool points just because I got the stuff that they didn't know exists, right? So some of you may need to get you some exfusion for clients who have thinning spots. Don't just be letting people like, girl, your hair thin, oh well. What? Give them some options. That's so sad. And people be like, no fillers. Shoot, I be filling my edges. I need to look full. Child, please, I be spraying. I like to look. Y'all be tripping. I be spraying, honey. You see all them celebrities? I spray celebrity clients. I ain't going to say who. They be like, Tisha, really? Why you put right. that in the video? But literally, I've been on set, and they and they and the hairstylist that was before me was using that black spray paint from the little Oriental stores, and then I came in there with this, and they was like, this is why you get paid more. They, they literally would pay me outside of the agency. So, like, and the union fees are cheap. That's why I didn't do the union thing, trying to do all that celebrity hair. Nobody cares about that. I, if you want to do my, if I'm gonna do your hair, it's gonna cost my rates. And you can claim that when you're an expert. You can claim that when you're good at explaining the benefits and not the features. One thing we go over in the book stylist program is benefits and not the future features. Okay, so a lot of times you guys are like trying to talk to the clients in professional terms. They don't know what the heck you're talking about because you're all in your own process and they just trying to figure out how you can make my hair stop shit they just want to know why my hair not as shiny as it should be they just want to know the basics right and so you in the class i teach you guys about how to speak in your client's terminology so that they can go oh yes how does she know how does she know how does she know you want to be a, a breath of fresh air to your customers so i'm using this wax stick and guys if you want an in-depth short hair tutorial, go to shorthairbootcamplive.com. Oh, and by the way, for those who, there's a few spots left for those who sign up, you get a year free of this course. So if you want to get the details of this and you're not in short hair bootcamp, boom, you get that for free. That's a, a, that's a good bribe, huh? That's a good bribe. You know why I give that? Because most people that join short hair bootcamp, the first thing they tell me is they don't have no customers. So... If you're interested in specializing in short hair, I'm giving you this course so that now you can put a course together with the skill, okay? So, Gigi's done. She's killed. Look, she's trying to run and go get dressed. She's going to go somewhere. Bye. Got me effing working. Anyway, so, guys, this is what I want you guys to do. Go to thebookstylist.com. I know, sorry, y'all didn't get to see. She went to go get dressed. Sorry, she went to go just, just like Gigi's press. You can have to create an environment for your ideal client. Exactly. Oh, wow. It's 5 a.m. and I'm learning something. I love it. Tariah's in Israel. What's up, guys? You guys like this late night stuff? What time is it? I don't even know what time I went live. But it's a lot of you guys on here. So maybe I'll start doing some evening chats with you guys. If you like the evening chats, let me know below. Let me know below. Yes, bang. She's at your mercy. Huh? That's hilarious. So the Marcel iron, the way I make it, um, um, the way I know that it's ready to curl the hair is, it's really you just get used to using them over time. Um, hey fam, we working late tonight, huh? Right. Your spirit is beautiful. I would like to get hair products made, but I don't know where to start. I like edge control. Do you offer information on that? I don't, but you can literally, there are white label, there are product companies that just white label. You know what? Let me... I'm going to figure out, I, I know a couple guys that do stuff like that. I'm going to ask them, do they know how? And if they do, I'll present them to you guys. Um, the beauty side of music says yes. What was the question? What was the question, y'all? What was the question? Oh, oh, <laughs> ADD. Oh, when I said, do y'all want me to go live at nighttime? Okay, okay, cool. That's cool. So I see a bunch of yeses. Evenings. What's up, Sophia? Danita, Sophia, you inbox me. I got to read it. I haven't read it yet. Sarah says it's 11 p.m. in Cleveland. Y'all are up late with your girl. Y'all are up late. Well, I appreciate you guys. Yes, thanks so kindly. Hello, everyone. Cool. Well, you guys, if you just, if you want to see more of me, then of course I will come alive on the channel. No problem. Nicole says yes. I love it. So y'all having a good time. Cool. So, okay, so now that you guys are saying come on in the evenings, you need to let me know what you want to see in the comments. 
no matter when you're watching this, okay, you guys, give me, I don't want to just talk about what I want to talk about. Well, kind of I do. But also, <laughs> also I want to know what you guys want to know because I'll share. If I know about it, then I'll share. It's always if I know about it. It's always if I know about it. So, copy the link shared with my team will tell Marcy and Dennis. I love it. I love it. So, here's what we're going to be doing over the next 12 weeks. Let me tell you guys. So, there's so much, so much, so much. So, there's a workbook. There's a workbook that shows you how to figure out what you want to make for the month, for the week, and for the day. We also go over the activities that you can do. You have to choose which activities that you're going to do. But we go over that, right? So, uh-oh, my phone about to die. So random, so random, so random. Okay. That's done. Whew, Lord Jesus, I just ran. I just ran, y'all. Okay. Back to what I was saying. So, we go over your getting people, converting people, and keeping people planned. First, everything starts with numbers. So, you guys, most people go to work, and they just at work. You're not planning out your targets. If you are operating without a target you are going nowhere fast okay you're going nowhere fast you don't want to do that that doesn't feel good you want to be clear on where you are every single week okay you want to set a goal for the next 12 weeks and every week you you do small things to get you to that big thing that you say you want so when we are talking about business a business runs on metrics numbers okay the number of appointments the number of upsells the number of rebooks the number of the amount of money you want to take home personally so that's what this course is about right we cover that and we discuss that and my favorite thing is to see members using this and getting customers okay so once you have your targets you know what you should be doing so you don't wake up and be blah okay you don't wake up and just like hope that some clients fall out the sky no you know what number you need to hit for the day financially you know how many appointments that how, around about how many appointments that is there's just so much. Thank you guys for reacting to the video, sharing it, loving it. Subscribe on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook. You guys are freaking amazing. So once you have figured out what you want to do for the month, you have it planned out, you see your strategies, then we break it down by week, okay? So every week, we break down that big old goal into a weekly thing. Because you know what, guys? When you are overwhelmed... When you feel like your goal is so big and you can't see past the very things that you're struggling with right now, it doesn't feel good. And so what happens is you come up with sexy ways to procrastinate. You say you got to take another class. You say that you have, you're too busy with your kids. You say that, you know, all, maybe this is just not for me. This industry isn't for everyone. We have all these sexy excuses because our goal is overwhelming. So let me tell you something. When we're setting our financial goals and our number goals, we do things that allow us to stretch. Guys, right now put stretch in the comments, stretch. We do things that allow us to stretch, okay? But it doesn't make us stressed out because when you're stressed out, you can't focus and you don't hit your numbers the way that you should. When you're stressed out, you can't focus, right? Hi, Barbershop Conversations. So, Here's, here's the deal. We want to be stretched, okay? Because your goal is going to make you mildly to um, considerably uncomfortable, right? It's going to make you uncomfortable, but what it's also going to do is, is push you to that next level version of you. It's going to allow you not to be just basic. It's going to allow you to go for something that you've never gone for before. It's also, so you can get something that you've never gotten. Again, it's going to ask you to get out of your comfort zone. It's going to require you to stay up late, go to bed, you know, in the wee hours of the morning and jump right back up early. It's going to require you to walk up to people that you don't know and tell them about who you are and how you can help them. It's going to require you to ask that person to rebook with you. It's going to require you to call those old customers. It's going to require you to get live on Facebook, on YouTube. It's going to require you to do some things that you have not been doing. Okay? That's what this program is about. 
But listen, so we break down the big goal because if you try to just get up the whole freaking staircase, it's overwhelming. But if you take one step at a time, we know this. So what I did was make the week sheet. This is something that literally, guys, I made this in um, a program. Like I made what I needed, okay? So the week sheet, I just need to see what I'm doing broken down by the week so that I'm not always focusing on that big goal at the end of 12 weeks because that is overwhelming and it stresses me out. So my week sheet just stretches me. It doesn't stress me. It just stretches me just a little bit. So I take the week sheet and I literally break it down so that I know what I should do for the beginning of the week. So on Sunday, you do this, you're good, right? And then I break down my week sheet into the day. So the amount of working days, I break down my goal even more into a daily sheet. So this sheet will tell you what you do for the day. It'll tell you how many clients you should have, how much money you should make. It, it will give you guidelines so that you don't feel lost. If you feel lost, pick up your sheet. If, if next week you call me and I say, well, what did you do on Monday? You should be able to go to your day sheet and write it out. It's already written out. You can just tell me, okay? So then at the end of the week, you go back to that same sheet. At the end of the week, you go back to that same weekly sheet and you just write what actually happened. Because remember, remember guys, I tell you guys all the time, in my life, I only want the truth. I only want the truth. I like facts. It's either black or it's white, but no gray, okay? I know I got on gray sweatpants, but normally it's not gray. <laughs> so it's no gray. I like to know clearly what's happening. So I like facts. I want to know at the end of the week, did I make the money that I said I was going to make? I want to know at the end of the week, did I make the money that I said I was going to make, okay? So this sheet is all facts. It teaches you, it shows you what you said you were going to make, and then it, you actually have an area where you can write out what actually happened. So then you can actually assess yourself. What can I do better? How many followers do I have? How many rebooks was I doing? Like it keeps you on target, okay? And so you're working by the day, by the week, do you think if you're keeping that much monitoring up that you can't make your, your monthly goals? Hell yeah, man. You'll be on track. So this is just one part of the program. This is one part. This is actually my favorite part because numbers don't lie. You know what I'm saying? So like this is one of my favorite parts because like numbers do not lie. So here's the deal. In this program, we're also going to be going over creating your vision, okay? Because guys, the vision is the thing that you like, it's what you have in your mind. As a result of having this business, I will get this lifestyle, this thing. So we're gonna go over what it is that you say you want. We're gonna go over immediate targets for the next 12 weeks. We're gonna schedule your strategy. You're gonna figure out what your marketing strategy and sales strategy is gonna be. You're learning how to market yourselves. You're learning how to get people's attention day in and day out. You're learning how to, and I'm teaching you guys what I do that works now. So these are not theories. These are not things that I just Googled and copy and paste. This is my life. I'm teaching you guys real time, real-ish, okay? So you're going to learn how to set your weekly, daily income goals. You're going to learn strategies that get your clients, that get you clients, okay? You're going to learn a 48-hour money-making strategy. How many of you guys want to make money in 48 hours after joining this group? A lot of people do. Right, got to make that number realistic so you won't stretch yourself out. Exactly, exactly. I see you guys saying stretch. I see you guys saying stretch. I love it, I love it. So listen, you're going to learn how to measure, measure so that you can see things grow. Everything is about measuring. I like measuring. I like numbers. I like to, and the reason why I like it so much is because I wasn't good at it. Okay, so the reason why I like it so much is because, and I'm still, I still think I suck. But I know this part. I can make the money, okay? So I'm teaching you guys what works. So, but I, I, I'm so OCD about it, and I need you to get this because this is what most people miss. And let me tell you guys something. Most people are broke because you, you're, you have a skill set, even if it's basic, but you, you, don't, <laughs> but you don't know how to get people. Gigi is on one tonight. She, about to get, she wants to get her makeup done because she's rushing to go somewhere. So you're also going to... Let me see. I told you guys about measuring the 48-hour money-making strategy. Um, basically, you're going to be intentional about your, your sales and your marketing. How many of you guys can be intentional? I'm crashing, y'all. Look at Gigi. I'm crashing, y'all. I'm working. You know what? Gigi's out of control it's a wrap. right now. Let's go. <laughs> she's out of control right now. Do y'all see what she's doing? She wants her makeup done. And then you bring down this jumbled-up mess. I 
know. Gigi and Lisa Nichols get on my nerves with this makeup. Because they always have it unorganized. I don't know. Okay, let me get it. No, not like that. I just want to... <laughs> what kick it? <laughs> it's, you, you guys, this is a bachelorette pad and it's out of control. Out of control. So, so listen. What have I not said? What have I not said? Outline your immediate target. Schedule your strategy. Learn to market yourself. Get people's attention day after day. Learn the mentality that it takes to keep. Learn the mentality that it takes. Because that's what's important. Because remember, guys, if your mind is not right, this won't work for you. So if you're not ready to change your mindset because your beliefs govern your actions, your beliefs govern your actions. I need you guys to know this from the bottom of your heart. What you believe governs your actions. So if you believe you're not good enough, you can try every marketing strategy. It's not going to work because there's a limiting belief telling you that you're not good enough. So you're not going to show up the way you would if you thought you was going to get it. Imagine, imagine how it is. Okay. Have you ever been somewhere and you were walking down and you thought somebody was saying hi to you. So you was like, you just waved at the stranger. You were like, hi, hello. And then you walk up to them and they're like, no, it's over there. And you're just like, uh, oh my God. You're just like, oh my God, it was so embarrassing. Has that ever happened to you? That's happened to me a hundred times. <laughs> I smile and talk to people and it's like, mm -mm, it don't work. They weren't talking to me. But the way that I, I was, the energy that I felt when I thought they were talking to me, I was like, hey. And then I got there. I was like, oh, they're not talking to me. I'm just going to walk away. Just walk away. Right? Y'all know how I feel. Some of y'all, maybe maybe you might be the person that when somebody speaks to you, you like, why are you speaking to me? This, this is not for you. That experience is not for people. I need you to stop that if that's you. If you just look at people when they smile at you. And that's you, and you stop. I need you to stop, okay? So listen, I see y'all laughing. So listen, beliefs govern your actions. So what you believe actually matters because it will dictate what you do. Gigi's bringing me all this scattered makeup. Really, Regina Renee? She's out of control. Out of control. This is why you don't live with your friends. You have to have better thoughts. Exactly. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Your mindset has to be on point. I'm spending two weeks of talking about this. Are you going to do her makeup here? Allegedly, be intentional about your sales and marketing. They are tied together. Exactly. Hi, Nitris. Your beliefs govern your actions. Exactly. I don't know why you you couldn't put that part on. I don't even. It's right there. Wait. Oh, I see it. Gigi would lose her brain if it was not inside of her head. I'm rushing. Oh, that's all I really want up there. I'm just okay, I'm but just, sit down. Where you going over there? I'm just gonna bother you for that. I get fussed at all day, y'all. Cause look at what she does. Look at what Gigi does I'm in bothered. the middle in the in middle, middle of work. Side. Of work. Uh, is this she does with this um, unorganized? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so guys, Gigi's about to go somewhere. So it's not about to be no like no face like situation. Five minutes. What time is it? Like they get there. They ain't gonna start till nine. Mm mm. They gonna start now. We had missed three people last time. Wait, this still open in here. Nobody. So, again, the website is thebookstylist.com. You can join for three easy payments of one twenty-five. If you don't have it, go call some people. Get you some twenties, guys. There's no excuse. Make it happen. Invest in yourself. It requires you to get outside yourself. It requires you to get uncomfortable. Get somebody who owes you some money back. Look, figure it out. When you get in the group, there's a 48-hour strategy. Some of you guys need to have like a fire sale or something. Fire sale is when you can pick up some products or give people a discount in a certain time period. You tell them this week only. I mean, 125, that should be two customers. Call people that you haven't been servicing. Get that money. Get in this course and learn how to consistently get customers that love what you do, okay? That are willing to follow you as you grow because some of y'all think that you don't have what it takes and blah, blah, blah. So you want to get some customers that love what you do, are willing to follow you. And I'm putting foundation on Gigi face, putting a little bit of this orange just to color correct. She got to go. So this is not like some real right uh, tutorial stuff. Open up. I'm just trying to... Give her a decent look um, for her night out. 
Make sure you guys go to thebookstylist.com. I'm so excited to work with you guys closely. It's so much organized. All the members who are actually in there already, the people look up who've been members, you guys are going to love the upgrades. Y'all know y'all started from the bottom. Now we're here. <laughs> so I know you guys are going to love. Turn this way. I know you guys are. I'm sorry. Y'all did that in the dark. <laughs> I know you guys are going to love um, the upgrades. I'm almost done. Just putting some little stuff on Gigi because she's extra. <laughs> Look up. I don't even know if this is the right shade of well, stuff. I did not. <laughs> but we're going to make it work. See, the thing about doing makeup, guys, it's like painting. So, I know how to do it. Even if it ain't right, I can make it look right for the night. Now, she's just going to... Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. A little comedy show. But, we divas, so we got to roll correctly. You know what I'm saying? So... My, my future husband might be there. Right. You never know. This is the diva den. Hey, that's what I want to call the place when I when I first was at uh, Meech House. Mm -hmm. Cause I was like, this is a little diva den. We just lounge and just sit pretty, have cocktails and talk about how these men be doing trifling stuff. <laughs> Gigi was talking to this nice guy last night, <laughs> and this fool talking about I had a dream about you. <laughs> what kind of dream you had? You just met me. You little right. nasty. Little nasty. Man. You keep them dreams to yourself, <laughs> nasty. You wasn't dreaming about me. I ain't even want to know what that dream was. Gigi told him goodbye. She didn't even tell him goodbye. Mm -mm. We don't even need to say goodbye to you. You mm -mm. nasty. I just can't believe men. And you grown. He's a, he's a public person. Just nasty. You sweating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sweating. I know she got on winter clothes and shit. Where are you going? Fall. It's fall. That is winter. Look up. <laughs> it be cold in there. It do be cold in there. It be cold. I ain't trying to be cold. Okay, y'all. So, hold on. Okay. Now I'm just about to put on some powder if I can find something to put it on with. <laughs> this motherfucker. Here? Where is it? At? Oh my god. It's upstairs. Gigi is crazy. Hold on, y'all. Gigi, look at the camera. Oh, here. Anyway, y'all, I pester her. She pestered me too, so I don't mind. She's cuckoo. Look up so they can see. Oh, so all I did was put. I'm just putting a little, uh, brushing up. Y'all want some makeup classes too? <laughs> y'all mess around, be on this mug 24 hours a day. Y'all tripping? <laughs> right. <laughs> y'all think I want? Did you kick me out? Cause I be loud all damn time. Uh, get, get my little uh be in my room with my door closed. <laughs> you hit me like this here, okay? Cause I gotta do I'm gonna do a little morning stream for y'all because we used to do that. I need to get back to it. My bad, y'all. Almost done. Almost done. So this is just to tighten her up. This ain't nothing major. I just like to Brush up the basics. Look that way. Look straight. There we go. So. What here? My square when I put it on. Oh. I'm using that uh, as a, I'm like. Right. <laughs> yeah, because you've been running around the house. Ain't nothing sharpened. Lord have mercy. That makes no sense. Did you? And it's like, she'll even use it, so I don't know how it got like this, because she don't use makeup anyway. I just don't understand. Can't blame this one on rain. So we're just going for a little... I have like three pins. Light, fluffy look. I know, this one did. <laughs> Keisha went to... She bought my makeup. She bought my little tray. I organized it. It was organized. And she don't take... She just... She crazy. Gigi is out of her freaking mind. I just want y'all to know that. What do we need? I was just trying to find a liner or something. Okay, guys. Y'all too funny. <laughs> Thank you, Alicia. Close. So, right, Alicia's keeps sticking to the topic. The bookstylist.com. 
So if you guys want to get build clientele, you definitely want to be in that program. You want to gain confidence. You want community. You want to actually talk to me on a regular basis about what you're up to. That's where you go do it at. Stop texting me talk about some look now. Y'all getting out of control with these calls. Call, I mean, go to thebookstylist.com and pay for your consulting. Learn how to build your clientele. I'll help you. I will help you. I will help you. I can't do the work for you. So please don't join thinking that this is a magic trick, end all, be all, Jesus thing. But it definitely will help you. Ask Alicia. Alicia says she's been in two weeks and she's already seeing results because she's being consistent. I would love for you guys to talk to someone like Alicia because what does it take? I mean, nobody's holding her hand. She's got to do it or it won't get done. And she's doing it. So it's just something to be said about. Okay, Gigi, look up. So now she just needs some lips. Can y'all see Facebook? I don't know what Facebook doing. She needs some lips and a little shine. But I don't know that she has that, so that is candy choosy. Right. Do I need one more? Yep. Here you go. Hold it. Yep, yeah, that one. Hold on, y'all. We're trying to get it done quickly. Just a little blonde, little uh shiny stuff. Okay. And then she's gonna put on some mascara. Uh, you put the mascara on. Mm -hmm. Look at the camera. I'm gonna be all in their eye. I'm gonna be all in y'all eye. I, I have. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do that for you guys. Girl, that's a mirror. I'm already using it as a mirror. Really, Gigi, you can't put the mascara on. Gigi is full. It's ridiculous. Period. That goes mirror right there. No, you know I'm like messing with my eyes. This is what happens when you live with your friends. They be extra. I'm like, girl, I ain't gonna worry about you and your hair skills. As soon as they gotta go to work. Keisha, come on, they pulled a friend card. I ain't never had a friend who did my sisters. Everybody. Miss Lisa. Lisa, she's she got better. She's she got people. But if it's just us, she'd be like, mm. But now what she does is she says, look at what I did. And then I have to judge regular lips together real, real, real good. So, hey girl, what's up, yo yo? Rubbing real good. And then, let's put on some lipstick. Soft in the middle. Open up. Rubbing really good. Look that way. Mm. Yes, I have gotten my money back already, increasing. So thanks for the program. Yay! Money's increasing and she got it back. Come on, girl. Testify. Look down. So something good to do, have your clients look at the ground when you're putting mascara on them. And you want to wiggle. Look up slightly. You want to wiggle just a little bit so that they can get uh, maximum volume. It's so cool when you have a hood friend around who can really... <laughs> <laughs> Right. Meanwhile, my hair nappy is all outdoors. I stay trying to find a hairstylist. So I understand the struggle. Okay, y'all. I'm sorry. I got to focus. I'm by her eyeball. Right. And I'm going to start crying. That's good enough. Yep. Okay, and look into the camera, right. helper. <laughs> Bye, girl. Look at you. <laughs> Bye. Thanks. All right, y'all. So, thank y'all for hanging out tonight. LOL, good friend. Have fun, Gigi. Thank Thanks. you. Gigi's running. Does this work for stay at home mothers? Uh, does what work? Gigi, I'm ready. Does what work? Um, does what work? Mm -hmm. I time I make up hair. We doing too much now. I'm lost. Let me put Gigi's mess up. Are you guys talking about makeup or hair? What y'all talking about? I see the comments. I'm going to look before it goes off. The program works for everyone. But it's also what you're applying. What you're applying, it is about the numbers. Right. Oh, yeah. It's, it basically, guys, this is, this, is, this is clientele building. So if you have a service or a product, um, now, if you're staying at home and you're not actually getting outside and talking to people, you're going to have a slower return, okay? So if you're staying at home, and you're trying to build like an online business, 
it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take a lot of time because it takes a long time. It took me a year to get a a, a friction, not even not a fraction, a friction of people to buy something from me. Gigi finally got her wish right. What <laughs> that Pam? Nuh uh. Oh. <laughs> uh, Kenya, what up, Kenya? So this definitely it's business, guys. I teach business. I just happen to speak to beauty professionals because it's my niche. It's easy to talk to you guys. It's easy for me to help you guys because I know exactly what you're going through. And now that my business has switched and I'm consulting and I'm teaching courses on all kinds of stuff and I'm, I'm running an internet company, um, I will tell you that the method doesn't change. It's business. I go to all kinds of entrepreneurial uh, events. I speak at them. Um, I attend them because I'm obsessed and all the, the rules are the same. So definitely you can apply this. Um, if you're interested in joining, you can join right now for three easy payments of $125, guys. That is so small. Contra con compared to what you're going to actually be doing and getting for yourself. Join this group if you're ready to be a game changer. Join this group if you're ready to be intentional about your sales and marketing so that you can have the life that you love, so that you can have the fun that you want, whatever that looks like for you, whatever success looks like for you, you can create that. Now, it's going to require you to do something that you haven't done before. It's going to require you to get out of your comfort zone, put yourself on camera. Some of you guys join the group and you're like, oh my God, I got to get on camera. Yes, you do. Because it's 2017 and listen, you need to be seen. Hmm? I was talking. You need to be seen. You need to be heard, okay, so that people can know what you have to give them so that they can buy it from you. You want them to do business with you, okay? So you have to be seen. So it is your duty you got to make it a religion to get out there, get people, convert them, and then keep them in your business. And you've got to do this on a, re a recurring basis all the time, 24-7. So there's levels to it, right? But if you're at a moment where you need to finally start making the money consistently every week so that you can take care of bills and not be stressed out about immediate things that are happening, this program is for you. If you're moving to another state or you've already moved and you want to get into um, client building. This program is for you. If you are just at home, I have so many mothers and baby mamas and whatever that have been at home and they want to bring home some side money. They want to work from home, doing hair from home. I've had mothers who do, they're literally like, oh my God, I finally have people. I go out to the grocery store. They get people while they're shopping. Okay. They get customers while they're shopping. So if that is you, then you totally, totally, totally want to be in this program. She is gorgeous by Gigi, have fun. Yes, Gigi looks amazing. She's out the door. They're rushing to go to a comedy show. Um, so that's why she want her hair done and then she want me to do her makeup because she's late. So, um, on camera. Yes, Sophia, on camera. All these people who are trying to avoid social media, you can't do it. You can't like, then listen, you can put somebody else on camera. But, you know, eventually you're going to have to get on camera. Live is where it's at. People want to see you. People want to know who they're going to get before they ever get to you. And listen, guys, there's inhibitions about being on camera because you have what other people think about you in your head. But if you just say, you know what? I'm going to do this for my family. I'm going to do this for, for me. I'm going to do this because I really want to help these customers because I know I have something that they need. If that's what you really feel and believe, then you're going to do it anyway. You're going to do it scared. And you're going to stumble. You're going to shake. You're going to get nervous. And you're going to do it anyway. Okay? I just had a mastermind um, in Dallas last week. The women were like, I don't like being on camera. But they did it. And, and the more I made them do it, they got comfortable. And they were, work, they were like, it, it was so fun to watch them go from stuttering and shaking within the same hour. Like, hey, my name is so-and-so and I do this and that. Like, you can do that. I know you've been told to be quiet, to be simple, to, not, to be seen and not heard. I know that, you know, social media is so crazy right now. So you're like, I don't want any parts of it. But listen, your clients are on there. They live on social media. So it definitely is a part of your business. Okay, it definitely is a part of your business. And in you listen, you're in this group to stretch, to do things that you haven't done before. How many of you guys want to dominate your market, your area? When you search, even right now, like I still got my website links and my clients running Dallas internet first pages, right? For certain keywords. When you search short hair Los Angeles, you're gonna find me and I'm not even available to take appointments, but I'm everywhere. Um, people keep saying, I see her, I see her, I see her. Other clients text me and say, these stylists know who you are, and I've never met them, right? It's so cool. 
So yes, social media is definitely important. Definitely important. And the fact that you get out, like when I go out into the community, I see people and they're like, hey, I remember you. Hey, I saw you at this thing. Oh, I saw you at that event. Cause I talk to people, not because I want to, cause trust me, I could turn all these cameras off and go be in my room. I will read books all day. I will listen to music. I will write songs. I will twerk in the mirror and mind my business. Okay, that's what I would do. <laughs> but there's the other part of me that knows that I want to help you. There's the other part of me that knows that I want to help you. I honestly do. If you look at my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Lakeisha Michelle, my first videos were helping people for free, for no reason, in my ghetto little house, with no money, nothing. It was just me learning, going, wow, everything I'm doing is working. I gotta tell somebody else. That's who I am. So my truth, who I am, the very essence of me is to help you. That's why I'm here. Now, I do it in multiple platforms. I have music, right? And the blessing is, and I didn't get to do it all at once in the beginning. I had to learn that the hard way. But this beauty industry was able to give me a lifestyle and an income that now I can invest in other things, build an online company, invest in my studio time for music that I want to create, invest in my dance coach, invest in my voice coach. I can do all of that now, right? Some of you may need to help a family member. I can pay for my mom a doctor visit. Man, like you don't understand. That makes me so happy. Like even thinking about it, it makes me want to cry. Like I love my parents. Like to, to think I can get on Amazon right now and just bombard them with like orders of tissue and like stuff, house shoes and robes, like that's exciting for me. So I'm gonna ask you, why did you get into this industry? Because if you just got in it to be to for a bill or a check, I'm not the girl for you, but if you got it because you wanna share your gift and you wanna live the life that you want, cause you know you can design it, even though no matter what you see looks kind of messed up right now, or maybe it was on and popping and now it's kind of slowed down and you gotta pick this thing back up. If that's you, then you wanna get into the book stylist program. I'm gonna be ranting and raving about it because I know that it can help you. So I'm unapologetic about it. I'm not, up, I'm not tied to whether you say yes or no, but what I will do is continue to tell you about it because I know that it will help you. And I know that sometimes we gotta hear something a million times for us to just finally say yes. Right? For those few people who are ready to do something different, then this is for you. This is totally for you. So I want you guys to go to thebookstylist.com, thebookedstylist.com. Go there and there's two payment options. You can pay in full. The investment is three three thirty seven. Now listen, the value of this program is easily nine ninety seven. I know members of this group who have gotten at least a thousand dollar return on their investment. And that's just counting the first couple customers they get, right? But I do know that investing in yourself is the best thing you could ever do. And this is for action takers. This is not for everybody and their mama who just want to take another class and never do anything. You will be called, put on the spot. I'm going to ask you about your numbers. I'm going to see if you're doing the work. Okay, we have weekly accountability. It's a membership site that you log into where the information is there. There's a private Facebook group. There is... Um, weekly accountability and there's Q&A time so you don't have to do it by yourself and figure it out I don't disappear right so you can ask questions and then there are other members who are so eager to share what they're up to it's not that thing where all the people are trying to keep the secrets to themselves we all eating good we all want to win so we all share and we support each other we don't make fun of each other we inspire each other we push each other we admit when we messed up we admit when we fall off and we get back on so that's the kind of tribe I got we homies right that we're like that's what it is so if you want to join that kind of community some people don't have a community at all sometimes you look around and everybody's just like doing some, some something that you just know that you weren't born to do but you need to be around people it be, it's amazing the virtual groups that impact people right because it may be the only thing that you have I have to go to class now. Enjoy your evening, ladies. Bye. I love you for being on here at five in the morning. I love it. I love it. It's so cool when you have good friends. I love it. I love it. So guys, go to, right, your vision makes you keep moving when you don't want to. Exactly. So guys, you can go to thebookstylist.com. You can do the payment plan. Payment plan, 125. Pay 125 today and in 30 days, pay the next 125. That's literally like, I think that's, what is that 125? That's $4.16 a day. Who got $5 a day to build clientele? 
We spend that at Starbucks, Burger King, Taco Bell, all of other different things. Hey, Shell, thank you. So it's three easy payments of $125. You make those payments 30 days apart, so you have time to catch up. I promise you, I know it's about to be the first of the month. $125 will get you started, and there's a 48-hour challenge in there, so you can go get your money this weekend. Go get your money this weekend. Go to thebookedstylist.com. Thank you, Shell. She's putting it in the comments on Facebook. Somebody put it on YouTube as well. Thebookstylist.com. Okay, that's how you're going to join and sign up. When you sign up, there is a private membership area. That private membership area, let me round up some clients. Exactly. Round them up. Listen, five people will give you your money. If you can't get five, get three. Listen, the services that you're going to give them hopefully is at least $40, okay? So you just need five 20s. I know you got $25 sitting around somewhere. <laughs> Right? Y'all, get aggressive and hustle. Get aggressive and, hum and hustle. How many people can I call right now and get this 125? Because I'm going to get in this class, and I'm going to get loud. I'm going to get seen so I can get people. I'm going to convert those people into customers. I'm going to keep a percentage of them, and I'm going to rinse and repeat. Remember the steps tonight, guys. You get up. You get dressed. You get people. You keep people. And you rinse and F and repeat, okay? That's the rules. That's the rules. And we do that day in and day out. We do that every week, okay? So this course, let me run over what you're getting again. You're going to create a plan slash vision for your business and your personal life, guys. Because if you don't have that, you're flopping everywhere. And every time something new happens, you're just joining. Your vision will dictate what it is that you're going to be doing. So if somebody says, let's go do this, you look at your vision and say, does that match this? Because if it don't, I can't, I can't do that right now. See y'all later, right? Because so many people are flip-flopping because they don't have a clear vision, right? And so we're going to outline your immediate targets for the next 12 weeks because some of you guys are not clear on what that thing is that you want to achieve in the next 12 weeks. Do you have a number goal that you want to achieve? Is there a number? I love your tactics. Thank you. Is there a number goal that you want to have in the next 12 weeks? We work towards that. We break that down. We schedule the strategies that you're going to use. Strategy means, are you going to pass out flyers? Are you going to host events? Are you going to go to events? Are you going to use social media? Are you going to do like a rebooking strategy? Are you going to do a fire sale? There's so many things that you can do to get money. So we're going to talk about that. And you're going to pick a few of those strategies and you're going to schedule them. Okay. And then you're going to actually do them. Okay. You're going to learn how to market yourself. You're going to learn how to get people's attention day after day. You're going to learn the mentality that it takes to create the money that you want now. Come on, somebody say, learn the mentality to create the money that you want now. Put now in the comments if you're still a freaking wake. I love you guys for hanging out with me. YouTube, y'all strong on this mug. Y'all strong. I love it. I love it. So listen, we're going to learn how to create, right? Keisha is very thorough about information and giving you feedback and the Facebook group is very supportive. Thank you so much. I love you guys saying now in the comments. Now, listen, we want the now money because it's here. It's all around you, opportunities everywhere. So you're going to learn how to set daily, weekly income goals. You got to be watching the money. Go get the money. Go get the money. Oh yeah, Go get the money. Go get the money. Marquita, go get the money. Go get the money. Go Marquita, I love your signature on your, um, something you posted earlier today. Um, learn strategies that get, that get you clients. Okay. Learn strategies that get you clients. That's what this is about. You're going to pick a few of them and you're going to run with it. You're going to measure, measure, and grow. <laughs> Marquita says, hey. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so, I'm so like bougetto. You know what I say? When you bougie and ghetto, that'll be me. I just, it's just so, it's so cuckoo. Marquita says, thanks. So you're going to start seeing your money be consistent. You're going to start seeing clients come back. You're going to practice what you're going to say in front of people. Alicia, thank you. The book stylist, three payments of $125 or pay in full for $337. You save some money when you pay in full and you get access to um, Short Hair Bootcamp Live for those of you who, that's a bonus. There's, oh, oh my God, there's several bonuses I forgot to tell you guys about. So I'm going to give you guys a website class, how to get a website done in a week. You will have a website class, how to get a website done in a week. Boom, done. That's a bonus. And how to make a flyer and a digital business card. Boom, that's a bonus. Oh, I forgot. How did I forget to tell you guys this? Totally forgot. Yep. So when you sign up, you're going to learn that too. Mm -hmm. I'm adding some things because I've been running this program for some time now. And for the current members, 
I listen to you guys. I see all the stuff that you're saying and we look at how to structure it, where to put it so that it's not overwhelming, so that it's not random. So this round I'm very excited about because, you know, the more you do something, the better you get. I think I want some long hair. Somebody come do my hair. Oh my God, I don't want to do my hair. I want some long hair so I can be like, ah. Okay, so listen guys. Sorry, I got distracted. I just, in my mind, I got some long hair, oh, but I don't. Oh gosh. Anyway, we're going to practice what you're going to say to people so you can have confidence when you're walking up to people. You can, you can feel okay with what you're going to say. You're going to make your own script and you're going <laughs> to, the beauty salon said, I got you. Where are you located? Where are the California hairstylists? Let me just be clear. Los Angeles. Okay. Um, practice what you're going to say. You're going to become an expert over time, not in 12 weeks, but you're going to definitely be positioning yourself so that people can look to you for advice. I love what Cece's doing. Cece has been doing her tips and tidbits and she's becoming seen as an expert. I'm very proud of you, Cece, if you're on here. So schedule your success. Yes, scheduling. So we're going to schedule everything you say you're going to do. Most people say they're going to do something and it, listen, for me, if it doesn't get on my schedule, it's not getting done. If it doesn't get on my schedule, it's not getting done. So you got to schedule it. Got to schedule it. Got to schedule it. Um, be intentional about building your books, which means you've got to be intentional about building your books out. Okay? You, building them out means putting people on the books in the future. So you want to be intentional about your rebooking process and strategy. Okay? And you want to, when you log in, do the 48-hour money-making strategy. I always want people to get their money back from anything they buy from me. So my goal is when you log in to jump into action. And so there's a 48-hour strategy. I got to get better with time management. Yes, indeed. We all do. We all, because I don't think it always just gets crazier and crazier. But definitely in the salon, you want to be able to manage. You want to be able to, um, because first of all, time, yeah, time is money. But time is also, you can't get it back. You can't get it back. So if you can do something quicker, if you can do something more efficiently, if you can um, work less hours and still make the money that you want to make, because some of you guys, all that seven days a week working just to make, you know, a thousand dollars. No, not happening. No, you don't have to do that, guys. And so, and people always say, where do I pick my price? I just think that at this point, I pull prices out my tail. Like, <laughs> like you do. Like, look, there's an average, there's a price based on your product cost and your cost to run the business. And then there's the money that you want to make. And so, you know, it, it, it comes with confidence. When I first started doing hair and makeup and all that, I was scared to charge people. And then I realized that I'm creating some amazing stuff that is really intangible. I change lives for a living. I am just like a doctor or a therapist, honey. I transform these people. They come in there looking down and want to be depressed. Some people in there thinking, but they just got beat up by somebody. You never know what's going on in people's life. And you take them and you give them a look and you inspire them to put on that dress, to smile. Again, they haven't smiled in a long time. That is intangible. You can't price that. Therefore, will you pick your price? the end. So guys, I want you to be in this program. I'm going to talk about it all the time because I want as many people as possible. Um, we have a, a 500 person goal. And so we're going to break it down. Listen, I practice what I preach. We break the 500 person goal down. Um, I don't know. We probably got another, we got another, it probably, it's probably like 380 something, 300. So yeah, we have a 500 person goal. And um, we're going to make it happen. And I will be doing this same program with you guys because this is what I do. So you know what I love is that I do. I'm practicing what I preach. Okay. So these are not theories. These are just working strategies. And guess what I have that most people don't. I have several coaches that I pay thousands of dollars to a month to make sure that what I'm doing works. And so when it stops working and I got to do something new and it works, I give it to my members. So it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. You definitely want to join now. Um, eventually, this, this will be my little private inner circle. So right now, get in while you can, honey, before we shut this down, make it even more amazing and reopen it. Um, I love you guys for hanging out with me. I love you guys for hanging out with me. And I'm about to roll out because it's the evening time and it's time for a cocktail, darling. So... Thank you guys for hanging out. I will see y'all tomorrow, okay? So tomorrow they're fixing our internet. I have no clue what time I'm going to go live because they'll be working on the internet and stuff. So in the case of that, I want you guys to make sure you're subscribed. Subscribe on YouTube. Go to youtube.com slash Lakeisha Michelle and subscribe so you get the notifications. If you're on Facebook, you can follow me. It's 100 million friend requests. And I don't know, you should just add people. I mean, I don't know why I have friend requests. 
because I don't know the people, so I don't know what to do. So I haven't really added any. I don't know. So anyway, just follow. You can follow people on Facebook. If y'all didn't know that, you can actually follow them, which is like a subscription. You can turn on the notifications so you can see the posts. Um, if you want to sign up for my newsletter so that you know what is happening, it's theceostylist.com. And what else? What else, guys? Is there anything else? Go to thebookstylist.com. Thebookstylist.com. Sign up. You can sign up for three payments of $125. I love every single person that is signed up. Hi, I pay. Am I in the first 30? Kenya, yes. Kenya, what up, boo? Yes, boo, you know it. That's my girl. I love it. I'm very excited about you because you already got a little, uh, a little flame on you, so it ain't nothing. And if some of you guys just need accountability. Some of you guys just need circle and energy. How about that? Some of you guys are, you dope. You, like, everybody dope. But, like, some of you guys really have a lot going on. You have experience. Uh, there are several salon owners in this group. There are several people who've been in the game for 20 years in my group. And some of you just need community, that energy. Some of y'all just want to talk to me every week and, be got, you know, talk to the other people and, and support each other. Some of you need that to hold you accountable because you, you know when you by yourself, you're really not going to just do it as aggressive as you would if you put your business in the streets, okay? So how, how crazy. If I don't get 500 people, then you guys are going to be like, well, Keisha can't even sell 500 people to her class. Let me put a public counter up. So you got, let me figure out how I can do that. Shell, we got to figure out how to do that. Put a public counter up. So Shell's my, she, she works with me. She's my operations manager. Um, so we need to put a, a counter up. We're going to end the year with the back. Yeah! I love it. Marquita just got me crock girl for no reason. I love it. Marquita, what the hell that is the reason. Marquita said, we're going to end the year with a bang. You're damn right. That's why I'm doing this. The last three months, it's the fourth quarter. It's time. I thought this was a football shirt, but I realized this is a London. Just, it's not a London. I feel like a referee or something. So, no. Okay, anyway. So, make sure that you guys don't leave this out. If you want to end this year with the bang, was just thinking about that yesterday. Yes, we got to figure out work. I can put it on my website or something. Yeah, we just, we'll talk about it. But I just want you to make a note because you know I'm going to get ADD and forget. This is why you got to have people. I need people to remind me of these things. Shell knows my brain is completely scattered. Um, I literally have her just so I can have her brain. Like, I was like, she's so much organized. I need you. So, anywho, I love you, boo. I'm looking at the camera like you know I'm looking at you. Like, you know which camera is what. But, anyway, guys, go to thebookstylist.com. Three easy payments to 125 I'm very excited about this round. Very, very, very. It's going to be better than ever because this is our, like, third or fourth go round. I don't know if it's third or fourth. It may be third. It may be third. But... Um, <laughs> I see y'all laughing, but it's going to be amazing, um, because we're just blessed. This has been prayed over. This is, this is just what it is. And people who are in there, they're fired up. They're ready to reignite. Some people fell off. And you know what I love? Someone said this week is that they fell off, but because they did the program and they had their stuff written out, I'm going to be so OCD about y'all writing your goals out. So if you join, this is not where you can say you did something. Write it out because what doesn't get written Typically doesn't get done, okay? But doesn't get measured, doesn't grow. It may grow south, and we want to grow north, okay? So, listen, this group is for game changers and action takers. Ella Shell said, love you back. <laughs> We're just thinking about that yesterday. Oh, right. Hey, y'all, so listen. I see the comments coming in. I love it, I love it, I love it. For those of you who have just paid, we're going to see you. We have a counter. There's a counter to see who's what and what number you are and what bonus you get. Um, the bonus is, uh, hello, the website class. Some of you guys are like still building websites from 10 years ago. Kenya says iron sharpens iron. Yes, indeed. This group is for game changers. Exactly, exactly. No sleepy people. People that's willing to stay up late and go to bed early, even though you got seven kids and three baby daddies. We talking about that kind of hustle. Uh. All right, y'all, I'm about to go. I'm done. I love y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I don't know what time, so make sure you subscribe and um, see you later. I'm at work till 6 a.m. I love it. Go, Leash. I love you, boo. You are so supportive. It's amazing how many people I love that I've never met. I love y'all. See y'all later. See y'all later. Go to thebookstylist.com if you want to build your clientele and get it popping. You want to <laughs> no sleepy people. <laughs> right. I love you guys. I'll see y'all later, all right? See, tomorrow at some point. Maybe I'll go live tomorrow evening as well because this seems to be absolutely amazing. So I love y'all. See y'all later tomorrow at some point because my internet's going to be getting worked on. So I don't know when.
but I'll see y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you, Leash. So put it, oh, you know what? Let me read the comments really quick. Because on YouTube, YouTube deletes the comments, the chat box. And so it starts over. Um, but you guys were writing down what you want me to talk about. Mm, Keisha's very thorough. Thank you so much. This program works for everyone. Yes, it does. Sorry, guys, I'm reading this. Mm, I'm reading your comments. Hello, Lakeisha. I think it's best for you to come on a night. I'm just logging on. It's 10 o'clock, Mobile, Alabama. Thanks, boo. How to keep your client's scalp healthy. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That would be great if you come on evenings. You guys are loving the evening thing. I love it. So I remember you guys sent me some topics. Mm. Mm. Right, it's hard, but my mom, okay. Your, beautiful, your spirit is beautiful. Thank you so much. These comments are amazing. I'm so grateful for you guys. We'll go try to screenshot YouTube. Thank you, Shell, for being up late with me. I don't even know what time it is. It's probably late everywhere else. How did you, why did you stop doing hair? Mm. Cause I felt like it. Uh, uh, okay. So you guys want to know like healthy hair questions? Okay, cool. Okay, so there's not shell. There's not a lot. That was cool. All right, y'all. I'm about to go for real this time. <laughs> I love y'all for staying with me in my randomness. I swear I love y'all. I swear. I swear. I swear. All right, guys. Um, I'm about to go. Peace out. See y'all later.